Randy from Randy's Reviews. This is the 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG E53 Coupe. It's one of the most unique and sexiest cars on the streets of LA and around the world. And what I mean by that is that there aren't very many AMG E Coupes on the road today. When you see one on the road, you just have to wonder what the heck does a driver do to own one of these? Because they don't come cheap. This AMG E53 starts at $74,950, but of course, it's fully loaded and I wouldn't have it any other way. It comes in at $88,500. And no, Mercedes-Benz may be discontinuing this coupe in the next couple of years. I'm gonna go through all the options and features of this car, then start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me and check it out. This review wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for Mercedes-Benz of downtown Los Angeles and Rafael Gonzalez. You'll find one of the largest selections of the latest models and trim levels in Southern California at this dealership. Check out their website, make an appointment, email, and get a quote from Rafael. Definitely mention my name to him. Here are a few words from Rafael. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rafael Gonzalez here at Mercedes-Benz of Los Angeles in downtown LA, sunny Southern California. Please, if you like today's video, give it a big old thumbs up. You want to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of that fun stuff. Show some support for Randy's reviews and look forward to more reviews he's going to be doing on some of our vehicles here in the near future. And I do speak Spanish. For those of you that speak Spanish, también hablo español. So don't forget the name. If you want to work with me, my information and the links will be in the description below. Please check it out. Don't forget the name, all right? Rafael G, making it easy. Peace. This E53's powertrain comes with an electric motor with 21 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. This will mitigate the turbo lag at the initial punch, then the turbocharged inline 3.0 liter six-cylinder engine comes on strong. The total horsepower is 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. All that power goes to all four wheels through an AMG Speed Shift TCT 9-speed automatic dual clutch transmission, the same one that's used in the AMG GLE 63S that I reviewed. 0 to 60 comes in at 4.3 seconds. Wow! Mercedes-Benz built this AMG E53 Coupe to compete with some of the best GT cars out there like the Maserati Gran Turismo Coupe, BMW 8 Series Coupe, and the Lexus LC500. Where this AMG E53 stands out is the electric motor powertrain, infotainment system, interior design, materials, and the smooth and supple ride. The rear is my favorite part of this car. Similar to the design of the Mercedes-Benz lineup, it's streamlined with a small carbon fiber spoiler, wraparound LED taillights, AMG bumper, AMG rear valence, and AMG quad exhaust tips. If you're driving up to the rear, you may mistake it for an S-Class Coupe, and you're not alone. I do it all the time. Who needs to go stargazing when you have these exclusive to the E-Class Stardust tail lamps? Pretty cool, huh? On this AMG E53, you'll get AMG 19-inch 5-spoke wheels, an AMG-tuned sport suspension with air body control, an AMG Performance 4-Matic, which is all-wheel drive. You'll also get a panoramic sliding sunroof with a sunshade at no additional charge. This is a deal breaker for me. The 840i Coupe and the LC500 don't offer a sliding sunroof. Mercedes managed to integrate the sliding sunroof into this coupe. The glass roof opens over the panoramic roof, so no headspace is lost. An innovative way to give a driver a sense of driving a convertible without being in a convertible is to take away the B pillar. I believe this is the only coupe that gives you an open air feeling. This was in the last generation E-Class coupe and they carried it over. 
These are the additional carbon fiber side view mirror covers for $1,700. It comes with a carbon fiber spoiler as well. The front is different than the standard coupe. Other than the standard LED headlight housing unit, it comes with the AMG twin grille blades with AMG badging, an aggressive AMG bumper, and AMG air dam. Behind the star is a radar for active brake assist. Open the trunk, just push the top of the emblem and the trunk opens automatically. What you see here is 10 cubic feet of space, although it seemed a little larger. It's double the size of a LC500, but smaller than the A40i coupe. You get a medical kit just in case you cut your finger, a cargo net, and you get a serious instruction manual. And underneath the floor, you get a crate to put groceries in. And beneath that, I think it's a license plate bracket so you won't damage the front bumper when you screw in your license plate. Here's a net to hold your stuff and a hook to hold your bags. Only a Mercedes-Benz before I should have known how to put the back seats down. I only found the lever to release the center armrest. Like a dummy, the levers to release the back seats are right here and I totally missed them. Mercedes is generous, they give you AMG floor mats for the driver and passenger. Let's see how many Randys fit in here. To open the trunk, push the top of the emblem. The opening is low and somewhat averagely wide. You have to be careful when you load things in because there's no guard here. So carry things over the bumper, otherwise you'll scrape it up. See ya. Ah. About one of me fit in here snugly. Once you get in the back, you notice red stitching on the soft material with the unmistakably Burmeister speaker. There are no stores behind the seats, although the outline would have fooled you. You get two turbine vents and underneath that, you get an ashtray with a 12 volt outlet and a USB. Two people can sit in the back seat because the center has two cup holders and a place for your Red Bull in the center. The armrest is right here. Just pull the tab and pull the center piece down. The back seat and front seats are lined with red stitched Napa leather with red seat belts that come with this AMG for only $3,000. Is actually a reasonable price for this package. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in there. I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna sit behind myself. The seats go up automatically when you pull the tab and it's pretty easy to get in here for a coupe. Gives you a lot of space. You pull the seat back and the seat comes back automatically to where the driver was. Sitting straight up, I have about a quarter of an inch of head space and about two and a half to three inches of leg room, amazingly, and shoulder space because I'm so broad, it gives me a lot of room in here. Nice job, Mercedes Benz. There's a B. I just want to say thank you to Mercedes Benz of downtown Los Angeles and Rafael for lending me their badass AMG E53 for the day. Now, if you're in the market for a Mercedes-Benz certified Mercedes-Benz or luxury used car, check out their website, give Rafael a call, make an appointment with him. His information and the link is in the description below. He'd love to hear from you. And by the way, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. Did I say subscribe? They love seeing those and it helps me get cars like the AMG to review for you. I've said it many times before and this AMG E53 Coupe is no exception. Mercedes-Benz has the best interior in the business using premium soft materials, aluminum trims, high quality black ash wood straight from Northern California and Napa leather. It's topped off with two 12.3 inch display screens and ambient lighting. These seats are similar to the AMG E63S sedan except these are more comfortable, better for daily commutes and long trips. They're more padded, less firm, and the bolsters are not as aggressive against your size. I actually prefer these seats over those for everyday or almost everyday use. Please watch my AMG GLE 63S SUV review to see all the functions of the steering wheel and layout of the center stack. Mercedes keeps the AMGs pretty much all the same. All the buttons are easy to read, reach, and use like most cars should be but aren't. The center and right columns are fully customizable. Just use the sensor on the left side of the steering wheel to set your digital displays up. The center display has the common information like tripometers and digital speedo. 
Scroll to the right and you can choose from a tachometer, an eco readout, GPS, a tachometer with an electric motor readout at the bottom, or a tachometer with a G-force meter in the middle, or a tachometer with boost information in the middle. The infotainment system is very intuitive. Virtually every part of the car can be customized. The graphics are in high definition. Each category has a subcategory such as GPS, radio, media, phone. All the magic happens in the category vehicle. You can customize your seats, get data on the performance, and this screen displays the horsepower and torque you're putting out in real time. This screen allows you to adjust the stiffness or softness up to five levels of your ride. Some of the gauges are redundant, such as this one. It puts four gauges into one screen, the G-Force, horsepower, torque, and boost. But it also gives you this cool picture of the E53 Coupe. That's just a sample of how detailed this system is. All the safety, lights, racing features, and much more are customizable. One more thing, you can change the display of the instrument panel and infotainment system to sport, classic, or a progressive layout. Now for the fun part, let's take the Mercedes-Benz AMG E53 from Mercedes-Benz of downtown Los Angeles and Rafael for a spin. The acceleration is amazing, no turbo lag. The acceleration is linear and what I mean by that is that right from the foot down on the throttle, bam, power from the electric motor and then to the engine turbos kick in. Power galore. <laughs> One thing I have to mention is that the sound of the exhaust and engine didn't come through the microphone very well. It actually sounded lower and throatier with snap crackles and pops. This AMG has an AMG Performance exhaust system for only $1,250. It's worth it for a high-end sports exhaust system. You can even open and close the baffles to make it louder or softer. Just listen to this. This AMG E53 is way more luxurious and has way more tech and just as fast, if not faster, than its two-door coupe competitors. None of them are equipped with a 48-volt electric motor to supplement the lag of a turbo. And its competitors are 10 to 20 grand more. Yes, I'm talking about BMW 840i. The seating position is perfect. Every button knob lever is easy to read and use. The blind spot is really only the front corners and back corners since there are no B pillars. So there you go, the best looking coupe on the streets of LA, the Mercedes-Benz AMG E53 Coupe. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below. Did I say subscribe? I'm Randy. See ya! Oh, 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 oh,